so welcome to all good morning everyone in this morning session we are we are practicing exercise 2 and we discussed step 1 to 3 so we are trying to observe ourselves we are trying to observe body material unit and we are trying to observe the interaction taking place between the cell and the body. So this we are practicing in this exercise two. In exercise one, we purely observed ourselves, our consciousness in seven steps. And in this exercise two, we are trying to observe the interaction between the self and the body along with observing with the uh, observing the body and observing the consciousness so this is we are practicing in this exercise too so let me brief step one to three of this exercise two then we may start our sharing so in this exercise two the first step is that we have to observe there are two realities one reality is in the form of conscious unit second reality is in the form of material unit so both two realities exist independently separately but are in coexistence so i exist differently separately body exists separately as a unit and as a human being both are in coexistence so in this step one we are trying to observe consciousness and we are trying to observe our body so how we are observing we are observing the activities so on the basis of conscious activities activities of desire thought expectations and my potential to observe all these things. So on the basis of activities going on in the consciousness, I can say that yes, I exist because I am experientially observing it, directly observing it. And whenever I see directly, experientially, I can say that yes, I am experiencing all the activities in me. That's why I exist. Similarly, I am observing physiochemical activities in the body. And on the basis of this direct observation, I can also say that body exists. So I exist, body exists, and these are two distinct realities. So this is step one. We are, we are observing and authenticating that yes there are two realities two distinct realities one is physiochemical reality second is conscious reality and with this step one we are practicing step two once we have observed that yes there are two realities one is consciousness another is body then we are observing how the interaction is taking place between the two so it is very important that one unit is conscious, second unit is material, then how the interaction is taking place between the two. So with observation, we can see that body is not taking any decision by itself, though there are many activities going on in the body. But it cannot decide by itself. So I give instruction to the body, then body follows it. And it is also important to note that I give only those instructions to the body that I consider to be important. I am not giving instruction continuously. Whenever I think it is important to instruct the body, for example, I want to express myself, I want to ask any question, I want to mute my mic and mute my mic. 
and it can only happen with the help of the body because consciousness cannot touch directly neither my mic neither my mobile because it is conscious so with the help of body i mute my mic i unmute my mic i instruct my body to ask questions i instruct my hand to pick my mobile and mute this mic mute this mic everything whatever we are doing with the help of my body i am giving instruction to it and this instruction is in the form of information so i instruct instruction is an information and my body receive this information and through some mechanism of neuron etc it follows so this is taking place between me and the body similarly there are many activities going on in the body and these activities are in the form of sensation i read it the form of sensation and many sensations are taking place in my body but i do not read each sensation millions of activities are going on in my body but i don't read all those activities i read only those sensation that i consider to be important otherwise if our body is normal fit then we, we do not pay attention on it when we when uh, we pay attention on it whenever we get some information for example headache pain itching then we pay attention to those sensation and we handle it so when i think it is important to handle this sensation then only we handle it so we are not reading all the sensations taking place in the body so it is again important to note this point that many sensations are taking place in the part of the body but i am not reading all the sensations and these sensations are also in the form of information so sensation is also an information so information is being exchanged between the self and the body so how the interaction is taking place between self and the body so answer is in the form of information no physiochemical things is being exchanged between me and the body only the information is being exchanged between you and the body so i instruct the body i read the sensation from the body and all this is happening in the form of information so this is step 2 then we discuss step 3 where we are trying to see that if information is being exchanged between the self and the body then who is decision maker who is taking decision because body is not sending any information to me only activities are taking place in my body it is me who decide to read specific sensation from the body similarly it is me who decides to give instruction to the body and i give instruction only when i think it is important to give instruction i need specific sensations only when i think it now it is important to read this sensation so in that sense we can see that i am the decision maker i interact with the body as and when i require i interact with the body time to time not continuously and body can body acts according to the instruction that i give it so in this sense we can say that i am one who decides what to do not what to do i am deciding what should be appropriate action while interacting with the body so it is me who is deciding so at the level of self i am deciding my desire thought expectations at the level of body i am deciding whether to read sensation or not to read sensation so i am a decision maker and with this we are 
we can observe that I am seer, I am doer and I am enjoyer. So I see myself because I am seer and I can also see my body sensations. So I am seer. Similarly, I am deciding everything. I am deciding feeling, thought, expectation myself. I am deciding whether to read sensation or not. I am deciding whether to inspect my body or not. So I am deciding for myself, for my body. So I am doer. And whatever decision I take in my consciousness, I experience happiness or unhappiness. In that sense, I am doer also. So I am doer, I am enjoyer, I am experiencer. Body is just an instrument. This we are trying to observe. And we have to be aware about these realities. Reality of self, reality of body and the interaction taking place between the two. So when you ask any question, are you aware that you are instructing your body? That's why your body is speaking. Are you aware that you are giving instruction to unmute the mic? Are you aware that you are walking and before walking, you have given instruction to your body? So are we doing all this decision with awareness or not? This is an important thing. So many activities are going on in you and you are performing many activities with the help of the body. The important point is whether I am aware or not. So next time when you unmute your mic, <clears throat> then see this decision with awareness. I am instructing my body. See it with awareness. Now my body is following my instruction. See it with awareness. And this instruction is an information. See it with awareness. When I reply your question or sharing, words comes into your eyes. Some sensation takes place in your body. Now you are reading this instruction. And you are reading because you think it is important to know the answer of this question. That's why you're reading. So all these activities are taking place. But point is, are we observing it with awareness or not? So many times you change your posture during this session. Are you aware that you are giving instruction to your body? That's why there is a change in the posture, body posture. So all these things happening with you, many interactions are taking place between you and the body during this session. But question is, are we aware that I instruct the body, then body follows, and this instruction is an information. Some sensation take place in my body, I read those sensations, and this is also an information. If I don't give any instruction, body will not do anything. Are we aware of this? In fact, while this session, during this session, you are moving your finger, you are moving your toe, thumb, hands, legs, neck. Are these things happening automatically or you are instructing your body? And if you are instructing your body, are you aware that you have instructed your body to move? That's why body is moving. So we have to observe with awareness. With more awareness, I will be able to see that yes, I am giving instruction. Body is not doing anything automatically. It may be possible that I am not aware of my instruction unconsciously due to past habits, due to my sanskar, due to my tab, uh, habits. I am giving many instructions. It is possible that I may not aware of those instructions, but body is doing because I am instructing it. So if you pay attention 
to your consciousness, imagination, then you will be able to see that many instructions I am passing to the body. That's why some activities are happening, some decisions are happening at the level of body. Some actions are happening at the level of the body. So consciously, some decisions, some uh, some instructions I give consciously, some many instructions I am giving unconsciously. Like moving leg. Many people, when they sit on the chair, they keep moving their legs. Whenever they pay attention on it, they stop their legs. So all these things are happening. But the issue is whether I am aware or not. <clears throat> so this is we have to observe. So I hope all of us practicing this with awareness. Awareness is required. The more we are aware of these steps, the more we will be clear in our consciousness how this interaction taking place. So this is how we discuss the step one, two, and three. So if there is a sharing, we can take it. But before sharing, you ask yourself, are you aware that I am framing some questions in my mind? And when I am framing questions in my mind or sharing in my mind, I am not using my body. Then you observe it with awareness. Now I have framed my sharing, my questions in my mind. Now I am going to instruct my body to unmute the mic. Once I unmute the mic, then I instruct my body again to express my question. Then body start following it. Are we observing it minutely or not? So whenever you share your observation. So see it, this sequence, very sharply, whether it is happening or not. First I frame question in my mind, then I instruct my body. And this is the sequence. Then I will reply. Then some words will go to your ear. And some sensation will take place. Then you are reading it willingly decisively because you think it is important to listen the answer. So observe all these things while communicating with me or with anyone. So this is we have to observe. So let's take few sharing and while sharing you observe this whether it is happening or not. But yeah, uh, it's very clear that uh, uh, self is uh, giving instruction to the body and uh, the body, uh, we are allowing body to act accordingly. That is very clear. Uh, but uh, the awareness, we are uh, sometimes we are aware of that, uh, sometimes we are uh, unaware of that. Uh, I have two uh, questions, uh, yeah, clarifications required. One is... Uh, this awareness always is needed. Uh, is it uh, uh, that much importance? Uh, because sometimes we are not able to be aware of that. We are casually uh, allowing the body to uh, do all those with, un with the un uh, unaware of all those, first of all. Second one is uh, while we communicate uh, anything to the uh, any other self, uh, we always uh, use the body. But uh, is there any possibility of communicate the self with the other self without using the body also? Sometimes I feel in my mind some thoughts are arising about other self. Then uh, sometimes uh, the other people also uh, catch those thoughts without expressing myself. So these are my, just I would like to have clarification regarding this. Yeah. So regarding first questions, see, if we are not aware fully, 
है ना ड्यूरिंग दिस इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन द सेल्फ एंड द बॉडी सो अनकॉन्शियसली वी पास ऑन मैनी इंस्ट्रक्शन टू द बॉडी एंड बॉडी गेट्स टायर्ड बिकॉज मैं वी आर इन्वॉल्व वी आर इन्वॉल्विंग आर बॉडी अननेसेसरीली सो आई वॉज गिविंग दिस एग्जाम्पल टू मिनट्स बैक यू हैव सीन मैनी पीपल सिटिंग कंफर्टेबली बट मूविंग देयर बॉडी मूविंग देयर लेग दे आर पिकिंग समथिंग दे आर पुटिंग समथिंग अननेसेसरीली सो दिज अननेसेसरी इंस्ट्रक्शन विच यू आर पासिंग टू द बॉडी विथ अन अवेयरनेस is wasting energy of your body so if you are fully aware of your instruction then you will give only those instruction which are important to perform some action so by this way you can save energy of your body also otherwise if you see teachers faculty members physically we do very less work we do most of the work mentally but but we get tired at the level of body body gets tired because many instruction we pass on to the body we are thinking something and we involve our body also so our brain gets tired we get tired as a body so if we are aware if we are aware that what instruction i have to give to the body and what instruction i have not to give the body so you will see that your body you will feel your body more energized because you are saving your energy unnecessary i will not give instruction to the body that's why it is important to be full aware of my instructions to feel aware of full awareness of my decisions so this is at the level of body and if you are fully aware of your decision at the level of consciousness then you will also be able to decide what feelings do i have to keep in myself what thoughts do we um, what thoughts we have to keep in my consciousness so with awa- awareness we can decide only those feelings are required in me which leads to harmony only those thoughts are required in me which leads to harmony so in this manner your consciousness will feel more energetic more resolve so in that sense awareness is required every moment at the level of consciousness at the level of body and at the level of every instruction taking place between me and the body is it okay bhaiya or yeah. i should add something else yeah it's very clear because i could recollect my energetic level when i uh, aware of uh, the instructions giving and uh, taking the activity from the body uh, it's a uh, experience lab very nice thing. it's very clear yeah right here so now regarding the second question so in fact you see all the decision is taking place in the self you know yes. and the self and the body as a unit are in coexistence in this space we are submerged in this space so as a conscious unit we are submerged in space body is also submerged in space and when i give instruction it goes to the body through this space so my instructions travel in the space and goes to the body now question is can we communicate without the body you know one self and another self can communicate without the body so if you see as a possibility so possibility exists as a possibility it may be possible that two self can communicate even without the body but as a human being we have to use the body Yes. So more awareness is required to give instruction to the self directly. As a human being, and in fact, as a deluded self, we are we have become so indulged with this body that we think that we cannot communicate without the body. 
because somehow we assume our self as only material but as a consciousness we have enough potential we have potential to see this whole existence we have potential to communicate with this self we have potential to communicate with this body so this potential exists in me but what you are asking the more awareness is required to see it yes. so for that we have to aware we have to be aware of my potential once i know my potential once i realize my potential then this possibility may exist in this space ji bhaiya so that uh, what sort of uh, uh, practice or something required that to communicate uh, without using the body or it is always required to use the body and communicate so you can communicate in both manner you can communicate with the body and many times you will see that who get intuition for someone and how does intuition is taking place so this is communication between self and the self but lot of awareness is required oh so in terms of awareness first we must be aware that we are not the body i am consciousness Yes. then i should be aware that every decision is taking place in me then i should be aware that <clears throat> i am giving instruction once i realize all these things and when i evaluate all the association which we have made with the body then it is it may be possible and you know, for for that lot of awareness is required yes. but uh, without unknowingly some coincidences uh, happen uh, uh, the communication between the self and other self uh, all these uh, without to know uh, happening that's why uh, 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 uh. ask again here last line what is the last line uh, without, without having uh, uh, this awareness uh, mm-hmm. of uh, uh, having uh, completely involved in conscious uh, unit self uh, and then we, uh, we are able to communicate self with other self but uh, without that awareness uh, sometimes uh, there is a coincidence uh, in the while communicating with the self with the other self if i my self for some thought arises and others it reaches to other self uh, without uh, aware of all this whether i am really in the uh, completely uh, conscious uh, state uh, or uh, yeah, uh, this uh, self is the only the uh, uh, unit which is most important and all this i am not body and all these feelings right so those understanding are required otherwise the whole existence is with us but we are not aware of it Yes, because yes. we are indulged somewhere else yes and coexistence exists i am in coexistence with each unit but i am not aware of it yes yes so many things are happening in this existence but we are not aware of it because we are stuck somewhere in our imagination due to our sanskar so first we have to dissolve those sanskar we have to realize our potential then we will be able to see many things happening in this existence otherwise yes. sometimes you may feel it sometimes you will not feel it many times you will not feel it but many yes. things are happening in this existence yes right you yeah thank you thank you so let's take one more sharing but this is reminder from my side when you are going to share be aware that you are taking decision in your consciousness to ask this sharing then you are instructing your body to unmute your mic then you listen me and you are reading this sensation from your body so we have to be aware about this process starting with from the asking the question and listening the answer so we have to do this with awareness 
So awareness is important. Awareness is required. Every moment, every minute, awareness is required. Uh, Bhaiya, my question is, it is not a saying, it is a question. The consciousness unit associated with me and the consciousness unit which is associated with you. Sorry, Bhaiya, say again, consciousness. The self associated with me and self associated with you. Are they same or different? That is the first question. Okay. And if at all, if there is a difference, and what is that making the difference? So as a unit, you know, I am one consciousness. As a unit, you are another consciousness. That's why my sanskars are with me and your sanskars are with you. you know, there is no overlapping in my sanskar and your sanskar. I get happiness, unhappiness of my sanskar. You get happiness and unhappiness of your sanskars because these are with you as a unit. And my sanskars are with me as a unit. So as a unit, we are two units. My consciousness and your consciousness. So two units, two conscious units are there. My consciousness and your consciousness. This is one part. Second part, if you see the difference is at the level of sanskar. So my sanskar is different than your sanskar. That's why your understanding and my understanding is different. Right? So as a unit, we are two units. And in this unit, at the level of sanskar, we are different. But at the level of innateness, purpose, program, potential, we are similar. So at potential level, we are similar. At the level of sanskar, we are, there is a difference between my sanskar and your sanskar. As a unit, there are two units. One, my consciousness, and second is your consciousness. That's why you are with your sanskar. I am with my sanskar. Is it okay, Bhaiya? Or some more discussion yeah, is required? It's, it's, yeah, it's okay, Bhaiya. And can I put it one question, Bhaiya? Right. Give it. Uh, we say that self is central and body is just the following. Mm -hmm. And in one discussion, I think we have discussed that for the development of the self, the body is required. Mm -hmm. And for the development of the self, if body is required, then how will you say that self is more important than body? That is the question by asking. So we are not saying that self is more important than the body. We are saying self is central to human being because decision is taking place in the self. So body exists with its definite role as other units exist. So many units exist in this existence with their def with their definite roles. And I am also body is also in this existence with its definite role. But decision is taking place in me. Desire, thought, expectations are going on me. I am experiencer, doer, enjoyer. That's why we are saying that self is central to human being. So this is not a question of importance. Both are important. So with the help of body, I am expressing myself. So body has a definite role. I exist in this unit. Because I have a definite role. With definite role, I exist in this existence. So, I am seer, doer, and enjoyer. That's why we say that we, this consciousness, self, is a central to human being. So, we are not saying that self is more important than the body. Self is the central to human being. And, and as a central of this human being as a consciousness, we have to understand our role. We have to understand others' unit role also. Then we will be able to participate in larger order. So this is what we are saying, saying here.
Yes, yes, Maya. That is the word is the only thing what it is making some difference. So this is assignment of step three that we have to do it with awareness each moment. So during your, every interaction with the body, observe who is deciding what is to be done. Observe this for routine activities. For example, when walking, is the body deciding to move on its own or are you deciding and then giving instruction to the body to do so? Is the body choosing to go in a particular direction or are you making the choice and instructing the body to do so? Even when eating something, observe who decides to eat. You or the body? Is the body automatically putting food in the mouth or are you instructing it to do so? When you come awake but don't feel like getting out of bed, who is deciding whether to get up or sleep more? You have to observe what happens when you respond to a sound, a flash of light or a touch. Who decides the response? You or the body? When deep in thought, observe yourself. Are you interacting with the body? So all these activities we have to do or whenever we are doing this activity, we have to be more aware about ourselves, our body and the instruction which I am giving to the body. So awareness is required. Every moment awareness is required. The more awareness will give more clarity to understand the reality of the self and the body. More observation will give us clarity what is happening between me and the body. So now we have to do each and each activity, daily routine activity with awareness. Awareness is required. This is an important point. So you keep observing all these things, all activities with awareness. Now we can discuss step four. So in step four, we are observing the distance between the self and the body. So again, it is a important step that I am trying to observe the distance between the self and the body. So when I am reading the sensation which is taking place in my body, ask yourself, am I sensation? Am I in the sensation? Am I at a distance from the sensation? So for example, you sit comfortably now, now where you are and pay attention to any part of your body. Now start reading the sensation of any part of the body. You can pay attention to your leg, stomach, neck, head, anywhere which you feel you can read comfortably. So sit comfortably, lose your body and just starting paying attention to any part of your body and start reading that sensation. And while you are reading that sensation, at that time while you are reading, ask yourself, am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Am I at a distance from the sensation? So we can do this practice for two to three minutes. Then you can share what is your answer. So practice is very simple. Sit comfortably, use your body and just start reading any part of your body. And while reading, you ask yourself, am I this, this sensation? Am I in this sensation? Or am I at a distance from this sensation? So let's do this exercise for two to three minutes, then we will share our experience. So let's start for two minutes. So let's come back. So if anyone has observed this, 
so you can share your CID observation. So we have to observe any sensation of my body and we have to ask these three questions. Am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Am I at a distance from the sensation? This we have to ask ourselves. Maya, uh, I was doing this uh, and I was asking this question like, am I the sensation? And am I in the sensation? So the answer which I got is no. I am not the sensation and I am not in the sensation. So the third question is like, am I at a distance from the sensation? I was not able to see it. No, because I am not the sensation. Yes, it is. Uh, what I feel is since the first two questions term, turned to be no, the answer to the third question is going to be yes, obviously. That's how I was able to make it out. So third step, you have concluded, not observed. Uh, yeah, to be frank, I'm not able to, no, I don't know how to see that, that I'm at a distance. Because the thing is, I don't know where myself is. I can understand that the self and the body is associated at a point. Maybe both are both are at a point in a space. But since I'm not able to differentiate between the maybe location of the self and body, I'm not able to see the third thing. So keep it open, Vidhi. Yes. With right. practice, with practice, we will be knowing where I am. Okay. So there is a need to change in our sentence. Mm. When I say where self is located, it means now there are three entities. One is body, one is me, and one is self. So instead of saying where uh, self is located, you where say I where I am located. I am located, yes. Yes, Maya. So once you start finding your location, then you mm. will be able to see it. Okay. So next time you say where I am located. Okay. Well, Anytime, yeah. suppose you are on your bed going to sleep. Mm. So before sleep, you just ask yourself where I am located, where I will be the whole night. So once okay. you ask, start asking these questions, so definitely you will get something. Okay. So till okay. then, keep it open and keep asking this question. So as a result, when you will ask these three questions, as a result, each one of us will get that I am not the sensation, as Didi said. I am not in the sensation. And there is a distance between me and the sensation. So keep all these questions open for you till you observe it by yourself. So keep observing your sensations, any part of your body, whenever you get time. And keep asking these three questions. And for your help, I say a few things. It will help you during your observation. So it becomes very clear that I am not the sensation. Because there are many sensations taking place in the body. And I am reading a particular sensation. It doesn't mean that sensations are not taking place anywhere else. Many sensations are taking place. But I am reading a particular sensation. I can change my decision again. I can start reading the other sensation in the body. So it, by in this manner, we can say I am not the sensation because I have choice to read any particular sensation. So if I were the sensation, I would be not in a position to avoid any reading any sensation, but I have a choice. So with this choice, I can say I am not the sensation. Similarly, I can also say I am not in the sensation where because 
I can go anywhere in my body and read any sensation. And regarding the third sentence, there is a distance between me and the sensation. So we can see that we have a choice whether to read the sensation or not. So we can say we are at a distance from the sensation. Because of this distance, we have a choice. So some sensation take place. I decide to read it. Once I decide to read it, then I pay attention to it. It means I am at a distance. That's why I am not bound to read all the sensations taking place in the body. Because I am at a distance from the sensation, that's why I am with choices. So millions of activities are going on and millions of cells compose, decompose, but blood is flowing, each cell is working. But I am not reading those sensations because I have a choice and I have a choice because I am at a distance. But keep it observing. More observation, more contemplation on all these things will give you more clarity. So whenever you get time, ask these three questions. So as Didi said, you will get answer of these two questions, first two questions. But for the third question, just keep observing it with open mind. So the more you will observe, the more you will get clarity that I am at a distance from the sensation. <clears throat> So I can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where I am at a distance from the sensation. So if you practice all these three questions, if you ask all, all the, these three questions while practicing, so you will get this answer. I am not the sensation. I am not in the sensation. And there is a distance between me and the sensation. That's why we have a choice to read or ignore. But don't assume it true. Don't assume it as it is, as I am saying it. Keep yourself open. You verify it till you observe it properly. So don't assume any proposal. Your body is with you. Many sensations are taking place in your body. You have to observe and while observing, you have to ask these three questions. And after each question, just ask you, just observe. First observe, then ask this question, then again observe. And don't rationalize anything. Just observe it. See what is happening. When you are going to sleep, so while before just sleeping, ask yourself where I am. Am I at a distance from the sensation or am I the sensation? So the more you ask this question, there will be a probability to get clarity about these three questions. So awareness is required. And this practice is required with awareness. So in the combination of both, gradually we may become clear. Am I the sensation? Am I in the sensation? Or am I at a distance from the sensation? Okay, so, but keep practicing it. Don't accept it as it is. I have a question can, can, can I be everywhere and uh, Nowhere also. Can I be everywhere and? Nowhere also. Nowhere. Are they uh, same know. realities? Bhaiya? <laughs> <laughs> so you check, Bhaiya. Can you be everywhere? You can think. You can think. My, for many my, my potential program, everything is um, ensuring me that I, I, I may be everywhere. Your potential is to know everything. 
But as a unit, I can be one place, can be in one place at a time. But as a potential, you can think of the whole existence. As, as a part of the feeling or as a part of observation, brother. As a pure observer, you okay, can okay. Re realize yeah. the whole existence. You can think of the whole existence. But at one time, you will be at one place as a unit. Okay. So when you are reading sensation of your body, you are with the body. When you are not reading with the, uh, the sensation of the body, you are with you. You are indulged somewhere in your imagination. When you are at the state of pure observer, you are with whole existence. But yeah, keep yeah. it open, whether you can be everywhere no, or not. Keep it open. But as a nowhere, unit... Nowhere is wrong. Nowhere is? Nowhere is... Uh, don't say wrong or right. Just okay. observe open, it. Open it. Open. Uh, open it. So don't reject it. If you reject it, na, then your exploration will be stopped. Stop. Is it? <laughs> So you open it, this question for you. At least you will be in your exploration. So keep it open. <laughs>